The Kamba farming community and Somali herders are for a long time being embroiled in occasional conflicts over grazing resources, especially water and pasture. The inter-community clashes along the border of Kitui and Tana River counties have been evident for years, contributing to vast insecurity, deaths and closure of schools for months. Mm. Uh, no, they, they are pastoralists, they are grazing and they move their cattle. So when any time they move their cattle to here, especially during the rain season and immediately after the rains, we've had uh, perennial uh, conflicts because of the little resources we have in terms of pasture and water. However, the conflict is bound to come to an end following a series of peaceful negotiations between Somali elders and area leaders led by Kitui East lawmaker Nimrod Mbai and Mutitu Deputy County Commissioner Benjamin Nzioka. During the negotiations, the Somali elders struck a deal that will see Somali hardest migrate with the livestock from Kitui County within the next 10 days. Because they have young kids, they have, uh, no, the, the camels have young ones. The cows have young ones. You, you can't move them uh, with speed. So that's why we've agreed from four days from today and within 10 days, they should have moved to, to pave way now for the ranching, for, for the ranching management to take over the, the activities within this, within this piece of land. Mutoke muache kwa sababu hatutaki muanze kuulizana na wakamba mm. na kuzozania mm. maji ikiwa kidogo, sindiyo? Mm. Na malisho ikiwa kidogo? Mm. Kidogo. Mm. So muondoke, muhendo. Earlier the elders, led by Maulud Bill Arden and Mohammed Abde, had objected the request to leave the area within 10 days, requesting for a longer stay of two months while decrying lack of water and pasture in the motherland. Wapo ningetaka kuwauliza, ni wapatia siku moja ama siku mbili. Majibu kuetu siyo? Majibu kuetu sasa. Asipata, tunaomba. Hawa wanzetu ile maraia kama sisi, yuko hapa. Awe sipata matatiso. Maji ile mbao hapa, hawa nyewe hakuni. Sisi nyewe tunawadanganya tutuo. Chakula ile kidogo tu. And as area leaders in Kitui County were on a mission to find a lasting solution to the intense conflicts between the two communities in Rift Valley, tension remains high along the El Geo Maraquet West Port County's border, following a bandit attack that left three people dead and hundreds of livestock stolen. So dire is the situation that normal operations at Chesagon area remain interrupted with schools yet to be reopened, unlike in other parts of the country. Westport Court County leaders, led by Governor Professor John Lanyangapo, is calling on the national government to beef up security in both counties, noting the unequal distribution of national police reserves between the two counties had left county residents vulnerable. Asking the President of the Republic of Kenya and the Deputy President, who is the balance of the people wa balance askari eight askari wote waende hata KPR toeni punduki hata hapa ndii yote kila mtu akae na mkono yeah. ukae na mkono ya fimbo si ndio yeah. na kama mnataka KPR ikue msinipee KPR saba hapa in the meantime, law and forces have promised to redeploy security officers to Chesagon area to prevent further attacks. Brenda Zedradido, Channel 1 News.